So this is the first time for me working on, I think this is Rhino 8 work in progress. And also this is Grasshopper 2 Alpha, which was a new release that they just uh, posted for people that have the Rhino 8 work in progress. You can actually install this as kind of like a before it's actually released. So I was taking a look at what it looks like and if it has anything that's way different than Rhino or Grasshopper before. And what I'm seeing is that it's, the basic functionality seems to be the same, but it has a lot of really cool things that I actually like a lot. One of the things is when you drag in, let's say a move command, it will actually give you the name at the top. So this is useful if I'm creating, let's say a tutorial and I'm showing what component I'm using. That is something that I was not able to get working on my last grasshopper. It may be something simple, but I tried installing the different plugins and it would not work. So this is actually pretty cool. And all the information has similar icons, but they're a little bit different. And also you can have here, get dark mode because sometimes when it's too bright it may not be the best and then here you can kind of change those display modes and the other thing is we don't have let's say weaver bird we don't have all of those other plugins that we would sometimes use to develop patterns and stuff like that so they may eventually release those but for now we just have the basic mesh surface and all of these basic components that we would use to create something here. So let's take a look at constructing a point. Okay, yeah, let's go to points. So this, they change it to point X, Y, Z, which makes sense. And here, the preview is a little bit different. Now we see that it's a very light colored one here. And we can change that. I saw that here under preview settings. And in here we can change the default. So it's going to tell you that the points are going to be displayed in this way. And I saw that they have different themes. So I think Grasshopper Demo or Grasshopper 1 is going to make it the exact same way we can change the size of the pixel of how big that point is going to look. So I think that's pretty cool. Let's move this over. We'll move it over in the world X. And now let's bring in a slider. So I said 15. When I type in 15, it actually gives me an integer. So it doesn't give you a slider anymore. So now we can say 15 um, or zero less than 15. And that's going to create the slider from zero to 15 and it'll actually put it halfway. So that's good. Before when you would type in, let's say zero less than 15, it would put it at zero. And sometimes that's not the best because it will give you a, like a null result here. Now let's move this around. Basically the same thing that we would do before, but it looks like it has a lot cleaner interface and then they did change a lot of the looks of the icons and that probably helps a lot with how quick it will kind of preview. So now with this, we just created a line from those and let's rotate. see if we can take this point and rotate it here. Pivot point is going to be this point. Oh, I like how it plugs in. And now here, initial direction. See, this is not the right one. So let's go to rotate again. Yep, 
that's not it. So I'm trying to see here where under transform. That's it. Let's rotate in plane. Now here, the angle, we'll use a series. Oh, they don't have series here. Range. So now it's called range from steps and it's going to be the step size, which is typically the rotation, the angle. So now we'll do rotation marks 360. Divided. To a division by the number of copies. So we'll go to six. Oh, we need to do six. Do zero less than 12. All right, so that took me a little bit to figure out because obviously the names are going to be a little bit different, but I was able to create a series of rotations using this. And now we can use that to scale and create like a spiral, but I just wanted to get my feet wet, show you guys how I am getting used to this new program and seeing what is going to basically come to uh, Grasshopper soon. So hopefully you found that interesting. Yeah, it was mostly me playing around and seeing how it's different than what it is uh, currently. So let me know what you think and I hope to see you next time. Check out my website, capetidavid.com. There you can become a Scriptbald member where you can access all of the video scripts that I've created for my YouTube. You can access also the script store where I have optimized scripts. And lastly, if you want to learn Grasshopper and you've never tried it, or you want to share that with someone, I have a six module course that will help anyone get started.
I post videos like this that will teach people how to get started using Grasshopper, so make sure to subscribe for future content. I appreciate you being here, and I hope to see you next time.